Hi guys, I'm going to do kind of um, sort of a little demonstration and review-ish um, thing with the um, with the e.l.f. Um, matte top coat. Well, it just says matte, matte nail polish on the thing. Hold on. Oh, the matte finisher. That's what it's called. So the e.l.f. nail polish, it's a, it's a matte finisher. As you can see, it's not quite clear. It's slightly opaque. Um, I don't know if you can tell in the camera. I'm trying to see if you can. Um, but it's slightly opaque. Um, and when it dries, it dries clear. It doesn't affect the, um, color of your nails at all. Ooh, why is this so crusty? The last person to use this is my sister, so I guess I should yell at her for basically getting this to spill. Ugh, that jerk. Anyway, so, um, I'm going to demonstrate, um, how this makes your nails matte. So, right now, I'm, I'm probably, I'm about to do my nails right now, actually, so I figured now would be as good a time as any. I'm not really, I don't, if I like it, then maybe I'll keep it on my nails, at least for a day or two. Um, and if I don't, honestly, I just kind of feel like changing the color of my nails anyway, so I probably won't. But, right now, I'm wearing Rustic by Wet n Wild in the Craze line. It's got, it's like that really round bottle, it's kind of small, and it's got like the swirls on the black cap. And so, I, I can't remember the number, I think it's 233, but I'll put the information right here-ish. So, there should be a thing here saying rustic number, blah, blah, blah. So, anyway, so this is the color right now. Right now I have Seshvit on top, but keep in mind this nail polish is... So it's kind of got like a metallic finish, and I don't want to say it's already slightly matte, but it's not like, oh, maybe it was more of like a suede type finish. Um, but it's not like super shiny, so Sesh Vite, even with that on, it's not super shiny. So, um, I figured it would be a nice color to have, like, to mattify, because I don't think that this looks good on creams. Actually, you know what, let me talk about this while this is drying on my nails, and I'm just going to apply it right now while I talk about it. So, I got this, hmm about a month ago, and I haven't used it yet, um, not because I don't want to or because I'm not interested, obviously I'm interested because I bought it, but, um, I just haven't tried it yet. I have a lot of things that I own that I haven't tried, but my sister has, and she tried it with, actually she bought another nail polish that she, um, put this over, she tried it with China Glaze's Refreshment, and if any of you knows what that looks like, it's, um, kind of, it's like a, it's just a cream, sort of bright green, um, it's like, it's a, it's exactly as it sounds, it's like a minty color, um, so this is going on pretty well, um, nothing, you don't, apparently you don't need a lot of product because it's going on pretty well, um, so far I like it, it's not causing me any problems, it's not getting chunky or anything. Anyway, so when she put it on, it went on fine, you know, both of them went on fine, it was like a dream, you know, it, it didn't cause any problems, like right now this isn't causing me any problems putting this on. But afterwards, I guess because it's a cream finish, and you know, obviously a minty color can be a bit gaudy, but we did this, what, during the summer? Yeah. And, um, um... It ended up just looking like she was wearing, like, a minty green, um, whiteout. Because if, if anybody's ever played with whiteout on their fingernails before, you know, like in high school, I know a lot of us girls did that, come on, admit it. Um, but if any of you have ever played with mint, um, with, um, whiteout, you know, it dries really matte and it looks kind of, like, chalky and it just, it looks like whiteout on your nails. So... It ended up looking like, like, mint, like, fresh, refreshment, um, whiteout on her nails. So, it looked cool because it was like, oh, that's matte, that's not shiny, but the, it didn't go well with the color. So, I'm assuming that with this to look good, you have to kind of pair it with certain colors, which is why I decided to use it on these, um, nails, because it's kind of got, like, a shimmer to it, so it's not so cream, it's not so flat. I feel like cream, um, finish... Nail polish is the reason you're wearing them is because, well, they're creamy, they, they, when they dry, they dry shiny-ish, kind of, and, I don't know, that's kind of the point. So, to put a matte nail polish over that doesn't seem very, um, doesn't f seem like a very good idea. Oh, it's dried already. Oh, it's already dry, that was fast. Okay, well, if you guys want to see what it looks like, okay, so this is what it looked like before, 
You can see it's still kind of shiny. Keep in mind, like I said, I had such feet on top. Um, I wish I could show you what it looks like regularly. It's not like, it's not so different from this. It's not quite as shiny, but it's not, um, it's not so different from this. And this is what it looks like with, um, Elf's matte, what is this? Elf's matte finisher on top. So as you can see, there's no shine. It's, um, it dried pretty fast. I hope you can tell. It dried pretty fast. Um, and I don't know. I'm going to put um, swatches of this on my, on my blog. I'll put swatches of this on my blog so you can get a, get a better sense of what it looks like. I don't know if the camera's quite picking it up because I don't think it's, it's, I don't have autofocus, so I guess it's not quite picking up how it's supposed to look. But it's, um, it's not picking up any of the light. It's not super shiny. So that's kind of nice. And I actually like it like this with this. Um, nail polish with this kind of like shimmer finish so I guess any of the craze nail polishes in my opinion would look good with this nail polish from Wet n Wild um, I think I'm gonna actually keep this on even though I still have some like even though I have some chipping around the edges I actually really like that it's kind of matte N the other thing that I wanted to talk about was did my sister experience any chipping now she wore the refreshment with this matte on for this matte um, finisher on for a little over a week. I want to say she wore it for about a week and a day or a week and two days and I didn't see any chipping at all. Like I know with OPI's matte, they have a matte collection and they have like the suede collection. Um, those are kind of expected to chip and they warn you on the bottle. They have like a little tag that comes with it that says, you know, this is going to chip. Remember not to put a, a top coat on top because you're going to ruin the finish, but keep in mind that it is going to chip easily. Um, so. That was kind of like one of the reasons I didn't buy one of those because, I mean, I, I don't want to buy nail polishes that, that's going to, I don't want to buy a nail polish that's going to chip right after I buy, after I put it on. That seems a little, that kind of defeats the purpose of buying it to put it on because then it's not going to be there anymore if it's chipping all over the place. So, um, with her, when she used it with refreshment, it didn't chip at all. Like, I mean, there was obviously regular wear and tear a little bit, but if I... I'm going to say it was minimal at best, because when I saw her taking it off, I was like, man, your nails still look good. She's like, yeah, I know, that top coat was awesome. So, I don't know. I don't know if this has, like, anti-chip stuff in it, or if maybe, you know, she just wasn't doing stuff with her hands or anything. But I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to wear this, hmm, maybe for a day or two. I'll definitely wear it tomorrow. I'm going to keep it on. And I will let you know um, if I if I see any I don't know chipping or anything that I don't like happening because I'm on the keyboard all day at work. I'm constantly opening things at work. I work in a federal government building. We get a lot of stuff that we have to go through, and um, yeah, I'm constantly opening things. I'm constantly typing. I'm moving around. I'm doing you know stuff with my hands all the time. So. Um, I think that will be a pretty good test to see whether or not this is, you know, chip proof or not. Um, and I think it kind of goes along with saying that matte right now isn't exactly chip proof. Um, I don't think a lot of people buy this expecting it to be chip proof if they've done their research or know anything about some of the matte nail polishes that have gone out. Now, oh, I will say one thing. I got an email, like, from Avon. It was, like, you know, one of those newsletter things that they have, they come out with often. And they have a new nail polish line. It's not, they don't have a, a top coat, but they have four new polishes, and they have matte finishes. I don't know anything about them. They're brand new. Nobody has reviewed them yet on the website, obviously, because they are so new. And, um, but that may be something you want to look into if you keep, like, checking in and seeing if anybody's reviewed it. And, um see if it's worth buying but as far as I can tell I really like this I hope you can kind of pick up what I'm seeing in person on camera so I hope this was helpful I hope you can kind of get an idea of what this is like and again I will post a link to my blog page that um, is going to show swatches of this or not swatches but a picture pictures at least of this and I'll try and put um, I'll try oh maybe that's a good indication of See, this one has such a on top. This one has the e.l.f. matte finisher on top. So they're very different, right? Okay, well, so that's it. I hope this is helpful. If you like this video, please thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, you can subscribe, and then it'll um, 
your YouTube um, home page will automatically show videos of me when I, well not of me, but of videos that I upload and things like that. If you have any questions or concerns or just want to comment in general, please put a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching. Bye. Hi guys. Um, so I just want to show you what my nails look like after about a day's worth of wear. Um, I don't know if you can tell. But, so, this is what the, I've worn this top coat for a day now. I was really rough on them. I made sure to, like, really test them out. So, you can see they're still matte. They didn't chip or anything like that. Whatever wear you see or fading you see on the tips, that was from before because I, I was going to switch my nail polish, but I just, I liked it so much that I decided to keep it, which is why um, the nail polish is so far away from my cuticle. Um, so, I decided to also show you what refreshment looked like because I know I had talked about it earlier. Um, so... Um, the middle finger is, um, refreshment by itself, there's no top coat, and then on my ring finger, I've got the matte nail polish from e.l.f. So, I hope you can see that the light is catching this one and not this one. If you can't tell in the video, I'm going to be posting pictures on my blog, and I'll be sure and post that in the bottom so you can take a look at them and compare, um, this color. Um, and this color, and you can tell the difference then, okay? So thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you guys. Bye!